Ian, you've made equality a central issue in your campaign. Can you explain? Uh, there's two particular issues that I've uh, picked out. One is about freedom of movement. I thought it was disgraceful uh, that at the start of the year Gerard Coyne made a speech claiming that immigration was putting pressure on the NHS. The reality is that without immigrants the NHS couldn't last a day. And I was very angry after the referendum when I think Len McCluskey just fudged the issue completely. I think it's a workers' rights issue. I think all of us should have the freedom to go where we please, to be treated equally wherever we go. Another issue that I've picked up strongly has been about the sexism within Unite. We can't be trusted to take up sexism effectively with employers when we're not doing it within our own ranks. Uh, I published the report on the sexism, bullying and harassment experienced by women officers employed by Unite. And I think that issue goes much wider than that. I think more generally we need to improve how we integrate our equalities work with a wider industrial agenda. Sometimes there's a tendency to treat it like an optional extra rather than a core industrial issue. The reality is almost every uh, issue we deal with as trade unionists has an equality dimension. So whether you're talking about appraisals, performance management, sickness absence management, redundancy selection, wherever there's an element of management discretion you find discrimination. And I think not only if we're too weak on those issues, not only do we uh, do people an injustice by not challenging the discrimination, but we miss an opportunity to challenge employers on those issues for the benefit of all members. So for example, in my own workplace, we're currently running a campaign around pay inequality, and we've been able to highlight the uh, uh, differences there are on gender, or age and disability um, in relation to pay and pay reviews. And what we're trying to do with that is not just end that discrimination, but break open a pay system that's unfair for absolutely everybody. So I think there's some fantastic work on equality being done in Unite, but I do think we need to spread that much wider. We need to make that a core part of our, our industrial agenda, and I've put forward a series of proposals to make that happen.